Hi, and welcome to the 2021 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel Weekend Edition. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button for the latest financial news, 100% truth for the United States and beyond. Today, I just want to briefly talk about the need for the uh, the rise of the digital dollar and what that means for the U.S. economy. Um, not the U.S. dollar, but a digitized dollar that's going to be controlled by a central bank kind of like what china has they already started on this digital dollar um yuan where they don't have any cash it's a cashless society basically and that's where america is heading towards and i want to know you guys thoughts and opinions on this here because right now as you can see uh there's calls according to marketwatch.com for the fed needs to wake up to the need for a digital dollar says formula cftc head giancarlo the digital dollar project has been going on for a long time. It conducts pilot programs to experiment with the benefits of a central bank digital currency. Now, you know, as my channel, we try to be balanced. We talk about the pros and cons of such a project. Uh, some of the pros of it will be that, well, it's both a pro and a con, is that this money can be tracked and traced no matter where you go. Um, it, it can stop on crime because there's no vaults to be robbed in these banks there's no physical cash being exchanged so it can help cut down on crime and money laundering and all that because everything can be tracked and recorded by the government officially now and so but that's also a con because they can switch off your digital currency at any time that they want the central bank um they know what you're purchasing know what you're not purchasing everything you know so that can be a both a pro and a con um and I want to know your thoughts on the Bitcoin because that some people have been arguing that Bitcoin and Ethereum and other digital coins have made it obvious that digital money will play a transformative economic role in the decades ahead and that policymakers, quote, need to wake up to this. Now, one of the things that I noticed, too, is that the IRS plans to tax cryptocurrency gains above $20,000. And if you sell your cryptos now, you're going to be taxed. So as long as there's a tax on it, I'm pretty sure the U.S. government is fine with it. Just like the, the great on marijuana. Uh, marijuana is made legal in a lot of states now because they can tax it. The governments can make money off it, you know, and everything is hockey doy and fine. But what if... There was these alternative coins or altcoins that are not being under, you know, in the system officially. These other new coins, because anybody can create a coin. There's other coins beside Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin that you've been hearing about in the news. You know, there's other coins that come out every day. Uh, what if those coins decide not to play by the rules? And they're, you know, they're under the table. Then what happens? Well, that becomes a problem of control. And see, the digital money. The digital currency system is all about control and giving you a social credit score is what they call it in China and other places. So if you don't comply, you don't conform, you don't get your money, you know, to eat this week or whatever, or to get what you need to get essentials this week. OK, this is what happens when we go into an economy that is based on a digital dollar project. That's the whole purpose of it. And it's funded initially by Accenture. Accenture is an investment firm and it hopes to bring together private companies, government officials and advocates for Americans without access to traditional banking services to experiment with the potential benefits of a central bank digital currency. So. What they're basically saying is they want a totalitarian area system of government where the central bank controls your money supply. They control, you know, what you do with your money, um, along with private companies, this merging of the private and the, and the public here that we're getting here um, to create this digital dollar is what we're seeing here. And so this is this is the end game. This is where it's all going. But unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of pain a lot of suffering before we get to that point because you know this is what they want total control of your spending total control track of whereabouts total control of everything because that's what they're proposing in this digital dollar project and let's face it the dollar is on its way out um you know rome fell uh great uh you know all of the great empires and the current paper fiat currencies have failed and so it's only a matter of time that the dollar falls into a digital currency the only problem the only issue that we have with that um for a lot of free thinkers and a lot of people that you know w want to have more control over our own dollars instead of having a digital currency where everything is tracked and controlled and you know is that if we get into a situation deeper into this depression then that means that 
we're going to be more and more dependent upon a government and a system that's not has our best interests in mind unfortunately if they think if the central bank or system thinks that you're spending money on a useless or frivolous thing then they can automatically just cut off your money your allocation for that thing and that's totally dangerous a totally intrusion of individual privacy um and it's just a total waste for most people so that's the only thing i have with digital currencies but it is coming it's clear that the castle societies here mostly be use credit cards anyway and that has a chip in them and that chip is location based as well as um it knows your location as well as a monetary base in your accounts and all of that so this is what we're coming for this is what we're coming towards in america let me know what you think in the comments below are you a fan of the digital coming fed the fed back okay fed back digital currency not i'm not, not talking about the bitcoin and stuff like that i'm talking about the federal reserve back digital currency that coming would you support that are you in favor of that let me know what you think or are you in favor of a new currency altogether that's independent like a bitcoin or something that's independent of the system um that will be allowed to make transactions in the future so as the dollar collapses this is some of the things that we need to think about as the dollar hyperinflates what is the new system going to be like a digital dollar or is it going to be uh an independent thing or we're we just going to go to something where it's totalitarian it where there's only feudal people where like the kings and peasants where the peasants and the kings have all the money and they they dole out allocations to us um based on how good we are and behave in the system and things of that nature let me know what you think in the comments below have a great day i'll talk to you very soon god bless